Hello everybody, DA Garden here and today I am joined with a special guest. Hi, I'm Miller underscore 2K7. Today we're going to be playing through the original Streets of Rage on normal difficulty, uh, two player. Uh, we, I haven't played this in a very long time, uh, I've obviously more averse to Streets of Rage 4 recently and I have uh, gone back and played Streets of Rage 2. So some of the more nuanced uh, things as part of Streets of Rage 2, 3 and 4 will not be here, but obviously uh, you know, the game is still a fantastic experience and we're going to see whether we can clear it again like we used to back in the day. So here we go. I'm not sure it's on normal. It should be, by default, I think. Uh, yeah, by default. So yeah. I'll be Adam. I'm going to be Blaze. Awesome. And there we go. Because we all, everyone knows Blaze is the best. So yeah, this game released all the way back in 1990, I believe. Very long time ago now, 31 years. Spawned a fantastic series of uh, free games originally for the Mega Drive. There was a spin-off that, uh, well, actually for the Sega Saturn, that was only released in Japan. And uh, numerous fan games and remakes until we had Just Street Rage 4. Only recently for modern consoles. Street Rage, the Street Rage games really did uh, use up a lot of my time growing up. I played them with Miller as we were kids, yeah. as well as with some other various friends and uh, yeah, I had a lot of fun playing them, especially when it was one of the initial games I had with my uh, Mega Game 6 cartridge. This, Sonic the Hedgehog, Revenge of Shinobi, made me waste a lot of my time, very many hours, playing with either myself, one player, or two player with a friend, or even my brother sometimes. Yeah, and I, as I said, I haven't played this in a very long time, so I will be curious to see whether or not we can still get anywhere in the game plausible. Oh, right. Say for example, stage 6 or further would be great. Well, normal? Yeah. Two of us would be fine. <laughs> it should be, but uh, we will see as this, we go. This, this still to me is the best for the Rage. As I just... Well, it's just the best. My favourite. Um, Although I have, I've, I've played two recently and I don't know if it's where I've played four, but two definitely is gone up in the ranks. I used to think that was just a poor Streets of Rage, but playing Streets of Rage 4 is uh, definitely a... Uh... Change that ranking. Yeah. Level, I presume. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing. I, I've, I've always liked Streets of Rage 2. I feel like it's... I mean, yes, there are a few uh, uh, changes in mechanics in the player's favour. Obviously, with like infinite combos and you know, the items being a bit more varied, where you can also throw them at will, and you can do that on this game, but it's not as easy. Uh, there's obviously the inclusion of combos, especially when you completely change the way it works. Yeah. Press, press, the, press the A button. Yes. Um, but these, some of those changes for the better, some of them questionable, but obviously then, when it comes to say Streets of Rage 4, for example, it sort of takes those things and expands on them even further, so... Obviously with the... Um, pseudo magic in the form of their character specials and things. I mean with, with blazes it always feels like a psychic attack more than an actual physical attack. It's a bit strange but I guess it's no different from her being able to use uh, fireballs in number two really is it? So, yeah. <laughs> yeah obviously this uh, stage uh, was uh, again the inspiration for some of the street signs and such and Sonic Mania as well with the Pine Pot logo up there. Are we using the specials? Uh, we can, yeah. Um, I thought I would use the uh, baseball bat I had, but then I immediately got kicked and dropped it, which is not a good idea. Oh, uh, yeah. Just help, help us out a little bit. Yeah, it just makes it a little bit easier oh. because oh, you know what's going to... No, no, it's fine. I've got it. It, it. Yeah, it just makes the bosses less of a hassle. And, and they are fun, but at the same time, they are also a pain. This guy's not. No, he's not. But it's it just like it makes it easier in general. <laughs> it, some things never change, do they? <laughs> so there we go. That's stage one clear. This probably probably the worst boss. Was his yeah. name? Southern. I, Southern. Southern. Yeah. I don't know the, the names off the top of my head, but I know like obviously they do have names that were sort of reintroduced in the later games. Um, obviously Street Rage Remake had them as well in the original stages, which is quite nice. Oh, dude. 
certainly going to be talking too much about Streets of Rage remake if you're not a sailor alive. But it's really wrong to not at least acknowledge its existence as, as a uh, Streets of Rage project that, well, doing incredibly well until its uh, unfortunate uh, removal from the public, shall we say. You probably notice as well I have an insistence on jumping. It's more the fact that I know that a, sm a small jump attack will knock enemies away from me so then I can sort of take a second to regroup my actual attack against the opponent. Also good at clearing large waves of enemies in one go, so love doing. Uh, do you want the ball? No, and then I can. Okay, I'll, I'll take it then, because I, I quite used them. Take nine. Nine. Yeah, it's a small, small pocket knife or, you know, or being thrown or... Oh, yeah. When did you get um, an extra life? Uh, I picked up one just a minute ago. Oh, okay. I hadn't even noticed. I was so focused on destroying the enemies on the left side of the screen. Fair enough. The other thing as well, the Shooter Rage 2, that this game is a little bit, a little less relaxed with, is basically handing out lives if you know where they are. Obviously, the the the, the, um, the score ratios in which you then get given lives in this are much higher than Shooter Rage 2, and Shooter Rage 2 also hands out hidden lives. So as soon as you find out where they are, you can usually get up to nine lives by stage three, which is quite different to this, where yeah. you know we we've only picked up two. Well, I picked up one X, you picked up two, obviously because you're scored. Well, they, they changed it, didn't they? Like yes. You get one at, you get one at 20, 20,000, which is really early. And obviously right at the start of, the, of the, the first level in number two, you can just go down to the left underneath the scenery and, and literally pick up a free life. Mm. Didn't um, know that. Yeah. So they sort of just handed them out, really, if you oh. knew where they were. Oh, don't you just love good old Garcia with his multiple... Um, punch in this game. Less of much of a threat in the other games, obviously, but Garcia, even as a, the, one of the lower enemies in this game, still feels quite threatening if he gets you in a multi punch combo. Alright. Obviously, these axe guys don't really or make a return either later, as far as I can recall. No. Although they might be the new DLC. Yeah, that's but true. I have seen the trailer for that. It's quite. They just um, announced Shiva, haven't they? Yeah, I mean, it makes. Or Shiva, or however you Shiva, want to Shiva, pronounce Shiva, yeah. However you want to pronounce his name. <laughs> it's. Oh. I, w I wasn't overly surprised because no. it like, did kind of look like it was going to be Shiva anyway. Yeah. But at I'm the same quite... time, it was just like, oh. I reckon they'll do. A, if anything, they'll do a surprise announcement and they'll skate as well. Yeah. That would make sense if they did, yes. Well, well or there'll be another DLC and they'll add Dr. Zan as well. I've never really been a big fan of Dr. Zan. No, I was never a, a big fan of Dr. Zan. But he, he's there, he's a character. Yeah, one of the uh, heavy, one of the heaviest, I think, for number three. But then that's because they also changed Axel to be more of a heavyweight as opposed to a mid range character in that game, which is a strange decision. Oh, oh man, don't hurt me. I am your friend. Oh, that's me. Sorry, my apologies. Right, I'm right. Okay, good. Yeah. I wasn't worried about possibly dying there, but... Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, bit of a clutch moment. I should have my extra life. There it is. So, look at, look at how many points I've got compared to you. Yeah, I know, it's fine. You, There's always somebody who's lagging behind, and unfortunately I'm the one in this game. Who, see who's doing all the work. I know you like the Facebook app, so you can have it. Oh. I, I meant to press left there to turn and hit. No, Alright. I thought it hit you. I understand. Give you a bit for that. I always like the fact that there's this uh, scenery object of a, can, a coke can here that sort of rolls along the beach. The small little detail was quite nice. Whee. Oh yeah, you can do a yeah, back attack currently with PNC. Yeah. They've got that on I think, the X button on the 6 button controllers from the 2 going forward. Obviously, you can just press. I think it's the is it the R trigger on other controllers for like Street Rage Four, for example, to do it. Oh, you can just press in the opposite direction that you're fighting. Yeah, which doesn't make sense. Oh, that's a nice You've probably noticed I don't, I don't talk about Street Rage Three as much as I do Two and Four. The reason for that is, is that although Street Rage Three exists. And it's a Street Rage game and it is fun. 
the, um, we yeah. unfortunately in the uh, the power region got a, a version that was much and, more difficult than that. And the Americans. And the Americans, yes. Yeah. It was much more difficult, and that was obviously to get around the uh, rental issue that the consoles were having in the early 90s, where game, gamers would rent a game and obviously complete it on the weekend, well. and then that meant that obviously the company didn't get a sale of the game. So it made sense to make the game incredibly hard at some point. So as to then get people to, well, as the old saying says, get good at the game to progress. Yeah. But unfortunately that works in a detriment of some games that did that in the worst possible way. For example, Lion King, that has the infamous second level that is absolutely painful. Sorry, you forgot to team attacks. Yes, as did I, until you threw me. <laughs> I thought, wait, you're throwing it? Oh, it's okay, you threw me into the enemies and I would hit them, it's fine. <laughs> Yeah, as I was saying, Street of Rage 3. I, I like Street of Rage 3, and I like playing it with the Japanese difficulty. It's actually a pretty good game, but it's... Oh, yeah, but I just don't but understand the story. playing the, the uh, you know, the Western version is not a fun experience. Especially when I usually lose two, we, maybe three lives on stage one. Yeah. And it's... At that point, I'm thinking, the enemies have too much health, and I'm taking too much damage. For this to be even fun. Oh, I've grabbed that. Oh, yeah, no, Street of Rage 3. We... we, we... I think we're going to have to do that on normal as well. Just yes, it's going to be a bit of a painful experience, but I'll definitely be willing to give it a go. Yeah. I'm glad to see that score uh, difference between the two of us is still there. Twenty-four thousand. <laughs> see, it does all the work. Yes, it's fine. <laughs> I wonder if the different difference multiplies if we go to the later level. Let's see. Nothing. Ah. Ah. Abadee? Abadee? Abadee Day, yes. Abadee Day. I hate these two. I really oh, do. I find these guys the easiest. Oh no, actually, um... In Streets of Rage 2 they're a pain. Yeah, Streets of Rage 2, because... But in this you can just jump kick them, repeatedly. Which is a, a bit cheap, but it works, so no complaints there. I don't need to jump kick them, I'll grab them. I like giving them a hug. It is nice that the older characters in Streets of Rage 4 have the police specials back, I quite like that. Because obviously, you know, with Streets of Rage 2 and 3, those specials what? are kind of lost. Oh, that's just unfortunate. Oh, wow. Well. At least you've got both of them. Yeah, they're clear, it's okay. And you only need another, what, 8,200 for another life? Yeah. Yep, it's not too bad. Right. Oh, fine, through this. Mm -hmm. How long have we been playing? Uh, 13 minutes. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong character. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've been playing for 13 minutes so far. 13? Yep, 13 minutes. As, that's one thing I miss on Streets of Rage 4. Just to do the thing like that. You mean back and forth, left and right? Yeah. And enemies. Yeah, because it feels like you're sort of uh, forced to attack in the direction you're facing. And then you have that odd one where you just go. runs behind you and just the old punch, and that's enough to ruin your combo. And obviously, there's a huge focus on combos in Streets of Rage 4, yeah. as you know. I do, like, it's, it's definitely the second best, <laughs> if anything. Yeah. This is still my favourite. I do like Streets of Rage 4, and that's the thing, like I, uh, obviously I was hesitant for Sega taking so long to then release a sequel to number 3, but I'm glad that they let, left it in the hands of Dot Emu who did it, um, you know, they did a really good job of it. The same people who also did the, uh, the remake of Wonder Boy, uh, which I also have on the Switch, it's actually quite a fun game. I haven't played very much, but the, the graphic style is very similar, if not the same from the same sort of team as well. I'll grab that. I hope they do like a, I hope they do another trilogy of it. You can have that as well. In a second. One of the things I do forget sometimes is obviously when you get thrown you can press up and jump to land safely and it's a pain in the ass to do correctly sometimes, but it does seem to take damage. Oh. It's a lot easier to do in number two, and uh, even in number four you don't even have to press up, you can just press jump, 
was that? Oh, uh, safe landing for me. Oh, really? Um, yeah, you can press jump. <laughs> number four. Uh, they, they just just before you hit the ground, press jump and you're fine. It's like, it's like they knew. <laughs> that was just really unfortunate. You can wasn't have it? you can have that chance. Okay. I mean, all right. Yeah, I'll take the first five. But yeah, you, you can, can have press points jump points point number well. four to save from. I need the help guys. Yeah, you can take that as well. But yeah. So it's like, I think like the the people the developers of number four knew that that was a thing where you could save yourself from being thrown and then to make it even more simple. Right, right, I'll have it. I still need help. Okay. No, don't go running at me with a knife. Mm. I say this, I'm really looked into it, him doing it. Okay. Alright. A couple of sticks on their way. Wait. He goes back there, stop that. Ugh. Gaussy over there, triple pop those garbage. Oh, someone's coming in. Yeah, apologies if you hear any background noise, by the way. That would probably just be my uh, housemate. Shouldn't affect the gameplay, so we're fine. Right. <laughs> yeah. You need help? I need help. Uh, I don't need it. I did pick it up by mistake, though. Hey. Yeah, as promised. Quiet, please. We are recording. It's alright, guys. Yes, I mean we're stage what four now? Yeah. Yeah, stage four. That's not too bad. We're doing all right. Cool. Can't remember the names of these guys. Signals, isn't it? Yes. Signals. Y signal, green oh, signal, yeah. the colours. Uh, these are flamethrowers, aren't they? Yeah. Okay, so it's fine. Oh. I tried to go for a low attack, but that didn't work. My fault. Wait for that attack to finish. So we get a couple of punches in first. No, it didn't work. I thought you were going to use your special. That's why I didn't do anything. <laughs> I was hoping to get a few uh, punches on him before he got up, just to make the fight a little bit easier. You can have that one then. There you go. And there we go. Perfect. At least he didn't die. It's a quick stage. I'm full clear, there we go. Yeah. Cool. We're halfway through, so we shouldn't be too much longer. Yeah. It's on round five now. This is what. From this point, this and this, um, obviously round six are somewhat long. Round seven is very short. It shouldn't be too much of a problem. And then it's the last level. Yeah. Guys. Cool. Just take care of. Oh, sorry. That did right. not go well. I walked into it, so it's fine. Well, that was lucky. Oh. Did we? Oh, come on. That was my own fault, I did, to be fair. I did, like, not walk in the right direction to avoid the knife. I practically walked into it. Oh, yeah, so you can have all the points. Because, might as well build them up. Oh, gold bar. There, there we go. Are. Oh, and the pepper pot, which, if I'm being honest, doesn't really serve very much of a purpose. It Make stuns it. the enemies, but it's like not very really helpful. It would stun them even more if you actually hit them. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just rub it in before I do you. I'm going to back now. That's fine. No, don't do free combo on me. I'm not happy about that. Okay. I always joke that the enemies seem to have like a little advantage in this game where they can sort of walk on, walk slightly off the screen and be safe. Yeah. It's true, they can. It's, I'm, if I'm not careful, I am going to die. That's right, I'll protect you. How about that? Okay, that's good. Yeah, it's, um, it doesn't help there's a there. Okay. It doesn't help that I've been playing this mostly through the um, through OBS, so I've been display has been slightly delayed on my end for the last couple of stages of Sorry, I got I should be looking at the actual screen display instead. Sorry, you want to walk away from me? I'll just throw you. Right. Where is she going to get up? There you go. Right, take care of her. 
Six was gone. I think this is where we are again for one of those other day days. One of them anyway. I think after the next wave, yeah. The wave of small, useless enemies. And then... You call them useless, they almost killed you. Yes, it's true, they did. I can't really um, fault them for that. Almost doing my job. Whoa, guys. You can't just swing in here like that. That's just completely appropriate. Alright, take care of these. Oh, sorry. That's me. I know. <laughs> You might actually need. Oh, I actually picked that one. I went to hit oh, between right. the pipe and him, and then so I picked that one. He's gonna go for it. That's alright, I'm just gonna. Oh, right. I, I almost had him. There you go. I was gonna kick him in the corner for a while because it's gonna work. <laughs> and then get punched for it because I was just missed the time, missed the timing on it. Fine. Alright, let's jump in there. There you go, you take care of it. Uh, I'll pick that back up. So yeah, you're gonna need that. Yep. Oh, Making the wrong moves again with the uh, jump kick. It's my own fault. Oh. Thanks for the, um, you allowing me to pick up those uh, no, this points okay. earlier. I now have um, almost as many points as you do. I'll say almost. Did you just die? I did. Huh. I did just die, yeah. I wonder what I got to play It's fine. <laughs> Good job we have many lives, so we should be okay. Oh, sorry. sorry. Again. Alright. Helping. Okay. Throwing a million. I always used to think these guys threw invisible axes, but actually now that I know how a Mega Drive works, I think it's might be just the fact there's too many sprites on the screen. No, there's even on, even on easy events. They don't have anything. There's only like a few of them. Okay. They do just throw invisible actors. Well, unless I'm. Oh, there you go. Fire sticks, rather. This one, anyway. Right. Hmm. And again, we need after Queen and Galaxians, a couple of signals. Sorry. It's okay. Bye. All right. Girl. No, don't go punching me, stop that. Okay, there's some steak. And a knife. Cool. Okay. Another one of them. Yep. I say as he hits me from the other side of the screen. Oh, wow. I'm taking them. Yeah, see if I can actually get this by this time without getting, just completely messing it up. Luckily, I have to. Uh, nope. I, I said as I jumped slightly too early again. Right. Right, I'll take there you go. It's okay. I'll help. I've just remembered what the boss of the stage is, and I'm not looking forward to it. Oh, these two are easy. If I remember how to do it properly. I know you, I know you can cheese got... them a little bit with, with back attacks, but I'm not too like. But we have three specials as well. Yeah. yeah. So right. should, should I'll take them out. You're gonna die. Okay. That's fine. Come to me, I was jump kicking, it's fine. Fine. It's probably one of the safest ways to attack him at this point for me. Ah, here they come. Right, I'm going to use my sensor. I can't remember screen. their names. I just call them the Blaze. Yeah, Blaze is because they use the same yeah. artwork as Blaze, makes sense. They're called Mona and Lisa, I think. In the English version. In Japanese, they're called Sasha and Onihime. That's cool. Yeah, sorry, Yasha and Onihime, I believe. Yeah, I have another one. Using that. Well, as well, because you don't get to keep them between stages, do you? No. Exactly, so when it comes to stage 6 after this, you only have the one that you start the stage with. It makes sense to use them. Want to use the other one? Uh, it's you. I do. Oh, I, I have to use both of mine. I forgot I had the second one, it's fine. I was wondering what you were waiting for. I was waiting for you to use it, which you didn't have. That's my fault. There you go, they're done. Okay. No. I got her. There you go. Fine. 
he does punch you a few times in the face. Not you, no, no. I realise how much health we have, like, don't do that. Hell yeah, that would be funny, but we don't want to die right yeah. at the end there. We're, be, <laughs> we're just taking them out. Yeah, exactly, we don't want that to happen. You're ahead of me in points now. Temporarily. It, it won't last. It's fine. So this stage obviously introduces the fun that is conveyor belts. Yeah, which is great fun for Adam because he's slow. Oh yeah, isn't he just slow? Yeah, see look how slow he goes. The thing is I wanted the power as opposed to actual speed. I don't know how well that's um, going right now, but... Oh. It's just annoying when you just sit there and don't get up. I know you're supposed to move away from them because obviously, you know, they're doing their whole like, oh, no, don't hurt me. I'm sorry. Yeah, I hurt you anyway because you're in my way. Also, taking advantage of the factory machine to actually hurt the enemies for us. You don't get a friendly today. Oh, one person. It's okay. With, my, with the way that I've been behaving during this uh, playthrough, I think I deserve a few extra knives to the face. It's fine. <laughs> Cool, take care of. Good. Alright, it's two fat guys. Yeah, I don't, I don't like the fact you have to fight these guys like three times in this game, isn't it? Yeah. You're not going to use that. Alright. The reason being is I have a feeling I'm going to die again. So if I use that now and I die, it's fine. No, no harm lost. I just get an extra special out of it, really. Don't try to. So. No, 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 no. Ah, sorry about that. Alright, I'll look at the top one. I knew that was going to happen, that's why I used my special. Oh, these two are just annoying. So bad when you get them out of the sink. And I threw him by mistake. No, I didn't mean to throw him again. No! Ah. That goes down for you. I know. Just two oh. lives left in, in succession. I'm not about that. Oh, Putting the boat still around. This is annoying. Alright, that's all I'm out for you. Okay. Thank you. Slap him. There you go, that's what I need. Perfect. You know. We don't have to fight any more of those guys, do we? We have to fight them one more time, but not like in this stage, I don't think. No. Which is good, because I really don't want to have to fight them again if I can help it. Because without a special, I find that they are some of the worst bosses to go against. I really don't. <laughs> uh, the way about sort of pulled me towards them, so I couldn't really move out of the way. It's just unfortunate. It's fine, I can live with it. Right, we've got continues as well. Yeah, it's okay. To be fair, I think past past me would be looking at my performance right now and be like, what on earth are you doing? You don't have to play the field properly, what are you doing? Get out of my hand. I've just, just picked it up. Oh. Grab that one. <sighs> yeah, that's what I thought. I thought there was some more of them, and then realised the speed was just taking a while to progress. Who wants that? You. I'd rather not take it and then lose no. it. <laughs> no. No. Okay. You can have a look. Alright, I'll take that. You, if you're worried about your health, then just stay behind me for now, okay? Yeah. Keep the special on you if we can. Good. I'm moving out of the way of that machine again, because I don't really want it to hit me. So I get whipped, because you know that's. Ah, that's some good timing. Okay, that's what I'm staying here. 
No, I knife with people. Stop that. Is there okay. any more? <laughs> okay, we can go. Yeah, just be very careful with the way you move forward. Obviously, here with the two machines in succession, and then I believe that should be close to the boss at that point after the passage, yeah. too. There's a light. Oh, not that one. Uh, you take that. <laughs> Do you want that life? You can have the life. Okay, I'll take it. Once again, I've got more points than you. <laughs> yeah, I knew that would happen. Right. Is it these two? Uh, it's just some salvers again. Yeah, yeah. Salvers yeah. or whatever they're called. It's not clear how to pronounce that name, is it? And obviously, again, the better advantage to that is we need to do our special speed on them. So that's fine. Yeah, I've got three of them again. We should be fine then. You had enough going against go Blaze over there, have they? Cool. One, two, when they, when they load in, there's one, there's two, perfect. Oh, yeah. I think they the police car driving in, it just looks a bit odd. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's the next level, really. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the, 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 yes, the stage seven, round seven, rather, is the, the last like, stage to say goodbye to the police car, and it does look odd. <laughs> and it's the, wor it's the Worms homing missile. Yeah. That's what it is. Were the Worms even around when this game came out? Uh, no, they went until 94, 95, I think. Yeah. That's good. Say that. We both get hit at the same time as well when you said that. Oh. Well, that one's done. There you go. Oof. I think that's it. That's stage six clear. I ran. <laughs> Had some points in. That's one thing I miss. There's, there's um, like in Streets of Rage 4, you just throw something at someone and then catch it on the rebound. I miss, yeah. that. I miss that. I got that instead. <laughs> Yeah, and do a little awkward looking kick. That's my back attack. The rest stage is just wave after wave of enemies. You can obviously throw most of them off the stage yeah. depending on where you're standing, which does make them really cool. Yeah. Throw him over there. Throw him over there. Throw him over there. Kind of missed every one of those as well. <laughs> yeah, they just went to the corner and didn't have to go off. Let me close all the work. I can never remember how many times this stops. I think it's like five or six. Can never six. Remember. I think. Never certainly right. Mm. I know it's usually way. Like enough to uh, like be annoying after like the fifth way where it's like I don't want anymore. Okay. There he goes. There he goes. And I'm pretty sure. But, um, what's it called? You, you can get thrown off just as easily as um, you can throw the enemies off in the stage as well. Yeah. The signal picks you up in the wrong way and throws you, you can just get thrown straight off and move away. Which obviously they made less of a problem in later Streets of Rage games where you only take off a section of your health. Yeah. Which is nice, but it's also, yeah, oh, it just makes oh. getting thrown back like a bit worse in this game. Like yeah, that. Like that, yeah. I just wanted to do that. I mean, I was meant to do that. Like, I was not meant to do that. <laughs> it's just to show what people are like doing. You just want to copy me. Yeah, I've known for that, aren't I? <laughs> Come on, Blaze. Come on, Blaze. I remember the first time I saw this, and I, thought, I, I did wonder how far up this would go. And then I'm soon to see the skyline at the top. It does look really good, actually. Especially for a game made in '91. You know, it's just big volumes of metal that I could achieve. people and really hurting them. We're just technically knocking them out, but throwing them off a building this high. That would kill. We, we, are, we are now murdering them. 
Yeah, we're not murdering these enemies, we're just knocking them out. I forgot that we still have those. <laughs> Wasting no good time. Yeah. Okay. It's fine. I should probably use mine before we uh, finish this stage. But wait until you get like a load of enemies like that. Yep. Might boost your score up. What, well, something a bit more better? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Use it on one Gauss here. Well, oh. that's three of them. Three, four, six more, any more? I'll use it there. That'll do. There's probably more to come. It's fine. I'm shooting now. It's fine. Uh, I didn't count how many times we stopped. I lost count after two. That's right. Ark. Anybody else? Oh, there's one of them. Oh, you pressed it slightly too early. Yeah, there you go. And we're in stage eight. Let's go. Last stage. Yeah. Sorry, I keep going to stages. The game calls them rounds. I should stop doing that. No, well. You've got a life. There you go. I'll bring it to five. Yeah. Cool. And this is the fun last part of the game where you have no special and you have to rely on purely on your physical ability of you to beat the hell out of people. And knives. And knives, yeah. And possibly the bottle that, you know, is lying around. Quite um, actually realizing you have to pick bosses without relying on the police backup. <laughs> yeah. That was always the big challenge of the stage. Well, you know, I used to go into some of the boss fights going, I'm beating you with, like, with the uh, police backup every time. Now you expect me to beat, beat you without. That's quite a challenge. I think, I think we need to come up with a system. Like, who, what boss we go for? Like, I'll go for left and you go for right. I'm going to stay up the right then. Yeah, right. The top right corner, I think. Them, there's two of them. Yeah, there's always going to be two of them. Yeah, so I'll stay in the top right corner and that's fine. At least then I know that that's where I'm going to move to gravitate towards when the screen locks. Yeah. You need that. Yes, I do. Thank you. Ouch. I'm trying to hit him, not you. Fine. I was in the way. Whoa! One of the things I do like about the stage actually is the background gets slightly lighter as it goes to like early morning. Mm. So quite a nice little effect. <laughs> um, take on that signal there. I think it's is it two or four signal purple signals before the boss comes out? Every time? Uh, six. Yeah, there's a certain four, I think. Usually but at this point you know the boss is coming soon, that's not the point, isn't it? So there you are. Just swing the same a couple of times. Okay. Dead. Oh, what? No, nice. There you go. That's not too bad. I think uh, I relied on the pipe um, heavily uh, there, but I did this job, so I can't complain. I'm going to say, and that's how it should be done. Yep. Without the police. There you go. See, we still have health there that we don't actually need, which is actually quite nice. It's a shame we can't sort of put that meat in your pocket and take it with you for later. <laughs> I picked it up by accident anyway, because it's not down near it. No, don't do that. Stop that. You can probably have that one as well. I'm okay for now. Right, I'm going to uh, move my way back over to that top corner in a minute. Oh, you can stay in that one. Okay. Single should there. And I'll take, take that. Out. I'll take this guy. Haha. <laughs> Whoa, jump on me. Slash there. Yeah. Oh, there we go. That went rather well, actually. No problems there. So yeah, the background I was just like um, through the window, just like pink tint to it. I think lighter out there. It's quite nice. If anybody's ever, anybody watching this has ever seen uh, any of my existing ROM hacks, I have attempted beforehand to make a evening sky palette. And palettes definitely aren't my strong suit. Hmm. They're not as easy as it looks. You have to get like the right colours that contrast each other without it being glaringly obvious that they, that they, they don't clash. Okay, so these are what third bosses aren't they? Yeah, yeah these guys, okay, fine. Well, at least we're facing the right ones. Yeah. And this time I'm hoping I don't have the same problem I've had before where I keep on jumping too early and then landing and then get immediately punched. Let's see if we can finally redeem it. 
Nope. I said that and what happened? I, I, I literally did the exact same thing. I said I didn't want to do it. But it's fine. I only took one you know, bit of damage. No problem. Happens. <sighs> okay. Meat. Yeah. I'll take that. There's more meat here, though. You know what this playthrough is really doing? It's just showing how bad I am at she's a rage, isn't it? <laughs> I'll let you handle that. The problem I have, as well as I know what the next boss is, I'm not looking forward to it. Like, everybody says that they have problems with the assistance. Like, you know, that's their, their problem. For me, it's not. It's the flamethrower guys. I hate them. Well, I think we both stick to what we were doing, so I'll stick to the one that's yeah. on the... The right hand should, side. It shouldn't be a problem that way, yeah, it should be fine. Because the, the one on the right hand side seems to actually go for me. Oh, dude. Thank you. Alright, I'll let the other yeah, players take care of it, it's fine. Right. I think I've got him locked. You need to do is that you've got the same avenue. You keep them locked in a place if you do get the timing right. He just wants to look at the screen. Okay. We're saying hi to everybody. Hi to the viewers of the channel, and I'm gone. Um, <laughs> oh, there's. There we go. Oh, yes, the blaze, whatever, blaze clothes. Yeah. It's, you know, I'm fine with. So I don't really have a problem with them, per se. They're not much of a problem. Especially if you um, can learn how to use back attack strats, basically. And they are, I'm not going to say that they're easy, no way, no way near, but they're, they're not like the hardest thing in the world. Let's take it off. Whoa, come on. They both come from the right side of the screen? Yeah. Okay. I thought they did, I was just trying to remember. Here they come. Okay. Sorry, so that's wrong, wrong person. One. <laughs> My oh. apologies. No, 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 don't, don't start there. Moving, she's getting pummeled. <laughs> that was her own fault there. She's she could have easily moved out of that and not taken damage. She decided not to. Why isn't she dead? There you go. That's better. Right. So, yes. then, uh, uh, right. No, I don't want to be your right-hand man. No. Yes, if you, I mean, if that's how Mr. X was to play, he'd be able to die. We're almost there. Yeah, we're almost there now. Oh, you can't fight because I know you like to fight. Let me just take care of this guy. Obviously, going to lose a life in a minute. If I don't, yes, if I, if I don't lose a life. That would be nice. Ah, there's me gone. Oh, Mr. X. Quickly, use the A button. We don't have any. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Ow! That's just completely rude. Ow! Mr. 
Right, because that's quite difficult on this game compared to some of the other ones. I mean, our number T is not that much of a threat, I don't find. What was I doing? Alright. Oh, look. Yeah, that's cute. Alright. Alright. There we go. I did it. <laughs> hey, don't punch me now. <laughs> I've got to stop that. There you go. No more hits because you're on low health. Stop <laughs> that. Now it is. Okay, I deserve that. <laughs> Uh, there we go, guys. That's uh, Street of Rage. How long did it take us? Uh, 45, minutes? 45 minutes, yeah. Huh. Not too bad. Well, it's pretty slow, really, when you think about it. Oh, wait, names. D. The... Is there a space here? It should be. There's a space. No, I'm just going to put the AG. Nailed it. Crap. There you go. Perfect. Sorted. Well. That's yeah. yeah, thank you very much if you did watch this. Um, I'm very much appreciated. Um, we had a lot of fun with that, I think. I yeah. definitely did. Uh, it's, a, it's such a good game. Yeah. I mean, a small part of me wants them to like, do a remaster of this, but as long as they kept everything the exact same, bar it looking like Streets of Rage 4, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I understand that, yeah. Yeah, graphical overhaul, but the sort of gameplay plays the same. And yeah, that's exactly it. Would be a nice and interesting idea, definitely. I mean, we're sort of going to get that sort of thing with Estelle in um, Streets of Rage 4 DLC, because her special, I think, brings in the, uh, the old artillery. Out, yeah. No. yeah. Yeah. Cool. Well, thanks for letting me play with you, Andrew. No for problem. Game, that is. Not a problem. Got a rude minded out there. Yeah. Yeah, let the credits play out to uh, cement our completion of the original Streets of Rage from 1991. Yeah. One thing I am surprised is that they haven't got Yuzo Kashira to do any more of the songs for the DLC. Well, That's a very days. good question, point, yes. I mean, I was looking forward to some of his music on Streets of Rage 4 when it was announced. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, not as many tracks on there as I would like from him, but. Oh no no, That's I meant, I meant to, to, to detract from the soundtrack, but yeah, it's. I mean, he done he done the first fairy level, and then he done Mister and Miss Y. Yes, which, which one's a the fantastic track on that track. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the violin that I like. It's Miss Y's. Yeah. So yeah, thank you very much, everybody. And uh, yeah. I oh, think I just noticed something that's, that's really annoying. Here. Do you know about the mouse cursor? Yeah, the problem. mouse cursor has been in the middle of the video the whole, the whole time. time. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Cool. <laughs> it, it happens, everybody. It happens. My apologies. Cool. Oh, yeah, look at that. And uh, we will see you next time on the next Let's Play. At least we didn't have to use that for continue. That's very true. Cool. Bye for now, everybody.